The Greenland shark, Somniosus microcephalus, is a truly remarkable creature, especially when it comes to longevity. It holds the record as the longest living vertebrate known to science. Estimates based on radiocarbon dating of proteins in their eye lenses suggest that Greenland sharks can live for at least 272 years, with some individuals potentially reaching ages of 400 years or more. One famous study published in 2016 analyzed the eyes of several Greenland sharks and found one specimen estimated to be about 392 years old, with a margin of error of roughly plus or minus 120 years. This means that some sharks alive today may have been born during the early 1600s, long before modern nations even took their current form. The secret to their extraordinary lifespan is still not fully understood, but it is likely linked to their extremely slow metabolism, a common adaptation among deep sea creatures. Greenland sharks inhabit the cold deep waters of the North Atlantic and Arctic Oceans, where temperatures hover just above freezing. Their slow metabolic rate corresponds to extremely slow growth rates, sometimes as little as a centimetre per year, and delayed maturity, with some estimates suggesting they do not reach reproductive age until around 150 years old. This sluggish biological pace appears to help reduce cellular damage over time, contributing to their astonishing longevity. Another factor contributing to their long lives could be their minimal exposure to external threats in their natural habitat. Deep, dark, frigid waters offer few predators and limit physical stress, both of which can shorten lifespans in other species. However, their long life comes with a vulnerability. They are extremely slow to reproduce, making populations particularly sensitive to environmental changes and human activities like fishing and pollution. Despite their ghostly ancient presence in the seas, Greenland sharks remain somewhat mysterious. Much about their biology, behavior, and even their maximum lifespan is still being uncovered, a testament to how little we know about the deeper parts of our oceans.